Now listen, listen to the Lord. And this is getting right down to the nitty-gritty with a lot of us today. Listen to it. The Lord said unto Joshua, Get thee up, wherefore liest thou thus upon thy face? May I say, he says to this man Joshua, he says, Get up off your face and cut up all this whining and in sackcloth and ashes before me. And a lot of Christians today spend their time whining before the Lord. Won't do you any good. God says, get up off your face. That's not the solution to your problem. Great many people talk about fasting and praying, and they have disheveled hair. I remember when I was a student in seminary that the women got a notion that the way to be spiritual was to be unkempt to wear a dirty dress and uh, not go to the beauty parlor and have your hair fixed, and you go around with a long face, and that means you're spiritual. And believe me, were they a bunch of gossips in that day. My, you know, the president of the seminary, he called the women in one day, the wives of the seminary students, and he said, now look here, <laughs> you go to the beauty parlor, says so some of you look horrible. You look terrible. You're not spiritual at all, and this is not spirituality. Paul Joshua gets down there, rends his clothes, throws ashes all over him. He was a mess. And he's the general, by the way. Now, what does God say? He says, Get thee up. Wherefore liest thou thus upon thy face? Israel hath sinned. Friends, let's get right down to the nitty-gritty. What's your problem and my problem today? Now, I don't know you. But I know your problem. Sin is your problem. Oh, you say, I'm a saint of God. I'm a super-duper saint. I am the chairman of the board of deacons. Oh, you are? Now, what does that make you? That makes you a bigger sinner than the rest of them. Why don't you deal with the sin that's in your life, Christian friend? That's the thing that's important. Israel hath sinned, and they have also transgressed my covenant which I commanded them, for they have even taken of the cursed thing, and have also stolen and dissembled also, and they put it even among their own stuff. You know, Joshua didn't know that. He didn't have the spiritual discernment that was in the early church. You remember when Ananias and Sapphira, when they lied, believe me, the Spirit of God brought that out immediately, and the early church was very sensitive to that sort of thing. But they're not very sensitive here. In fact, they're not sensitive at all. Now, I won't read all of this here, but God says sin's in the camp. You'll have to deal with it. 